Don't say anything stupid. Okay, Erica, go. You saying something stupid. I'm always the ass that says something stupid. I always. Uh, I think three shots was enough. And I mean, I just did three shots in like 10 minutes. I think I'm going to chill for a minute. There's no, again, no judgment here. I might do, I have one more orange. So I might do one more, but I'm going to give it a minute. So just, okay. So not so long ago, I went on a vacation with someone and we were playing Battleship. And the, the idea was that the minute you sunk the other person's ship, you had to take a tequila shot. Um, and just as an FYI, I do know how to say tequila. It's funnier when I say tequila, because I'm sure someone on YouTube will comment on the fact that I can't pronounce tequila. Um, anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm sure someone will say something. Anyway, and I was cheating because I, I don't love tequila. I do not um, at all. And so I was cheating and then doing a sneaky move and put my phone like at a certain spot so I could see the answers that they were doing. So you I could cheated. see all of these ships and they were like, Whoa! and I was like, yeah, yeah, so good at this game. And you're so drunk, silly. <laughs> oh, you're so many shots in. Oh my god. Um, I'm I'm not saying that tequila is my favorite thing ever, but I'll drink it. I'll drink tequila. So let's get started. Would you like to introduce yourself, beautiful Erica? I'm so excited you're here. My name is Erica, and I am craftinated. Do we need like a money gun? Like, Ooh, do you have one? I would love some money. No, I don't have a money gun. Do you have a money gun? No, I have many other things, but not a money gun. Hey, okay. we can hope. All right, so craftinated, you have oh, my stickers. No, you've got stickers. You've got lots and lots of stickers. <laughs> All right, so tell me how you came into being. Tell me how you got craftinated up and running. So it was, I was starting to do craft shows. Like I started like putting my name out there and like signing up for craft shows. And I was talking to my cousin. I'm like, I need a name though. I need a name. What is the name of this? And I don't know how, but I was just like craftinated. I love caffeine. I love crafting. I love drinking caffeine and then, and then crafting. So that is how Craftinated came to be. And it really was initially just like more in person, um, doing craft shows, trade shows, things like that. And then it kind of evolved into, you know, Instagram, YouTube, all of those things. So do you want to share those, those channels with us? I'll link them below as well. Perfect. Well, what are they, silly sausage head? Oh. I'm sorry. Um, www.youtube.com slash craftinated, I think. And, and then at craftinated and I'm pretty much craftinated on everything. Well, that's lucky. I had to put a dot in my Mayana creative because some silly goose stole my Mayana creative. The only thing I'm not craftinated on is Etsy. And I messaged them because there was no Etsy store called Craftinated. And I'm like, hey, can I be Craftinated? I am Craftinated. And they're like, that's being used. And I'm like, but when I look it up, there's nobody there. And um, I don't know. So now I'm Craftinated Crafts on Etsy. I know, because you make little goodies as well. I really love that. <laughs> how, how did you yeah. get into that? So that's actually where I started. I started paper crafting, um, making cards, doing scrapbooking, things like that. And then it kind of just evolved over time. And then, I don't know, probably for two years, I was telling my husband, I was using a different planner and I was telling my husband, I was like, I really want to get into bullet journaling. Like that's, it looks so cool. I want to do it, but how do I do it? And it took me forever just to like start doing it, but it, it like evolved into bullet journaling. And that's like one of my main passions now beyond, I mean, I also still make stuff, but I love bullet journaling. What has been your favorite bullet journal spread up to now? Ooh, favorite ever. Ever. I have this one, it's Mario, like from Mario and Luigi. And I think it's like the best thing I've, drawn ever it's mario and it looks like mario 
Well, Jamie, just, do you have it around? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Let me see. It's me, oh, Mario. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> so I love my Mario. I thought he looked good. And then I did this watercolor one that I think turned out really kind of cool too. So this was another oh, one. Oh, that's cool. Did you do that with like um, uh, the plastic bag? Resist. Yeah. And then this was my first Archer and Olive ever. Fancy. What was the your first notebook ever? So I had um, one of the ones from Michael's. I forget what they're called. And I made it about four and a half weeks into it before I said, you know what? I need something that's going to hold up to paint. I need something that's going to hold up to all these other things. And that's when I was like, Archer and Olive. So when I started this one, let me see what the first day is in here. Jeez, we're going back in time. So March, I started this one in March. So the other one lasted me January, February of 2020. And then I moved into this one in March because I couldn't deal with it anymore. March, 2020. March, 2020. Damn. You've been when things that. started going downhill with everything, with COVID. With all of the things. How is COVID in your area? Like what's, what's happening in your, your neck of the woods with COVID? So we just had this huge spike with COVID. Um, and we had a lot of healthcare workers out and it was like, this area was just like, it just, it felt like the apocalypse for like two and a half weeks. And I don't know, it's like our, our numbers have just dropped back down again. So I guess it's looking up. We'll see what happens in the future. Tell me a little bit, you have this year or just at the end of last year, <laughs> end of last year, um, you got onto the Archer and Olive design team, fancy pants. Tell I know a little bit about that. I love being on the design team. I think we have like the most amazing group of humans right now. And that's saying they weren't great before, but we just have so many awesome people on the team. So many different people. It's, it's really a privilege to be a part of a team that has so many people from so many different walks of life and just kind of coming together with the same kind of like, maybe not the same exact passion but the passion for craft and for creating and for planning and all of those things and it's just it's it's really amazing to be a part of it I I 10 out of 10 would recommend <laughs> five star review five stars. five stars <laughs> it's it's a great I mean I I was following the team before and they were a pleasure to join like to watch and see how they like evolved and the things that they did and you know some of them are like oh, superstars and it's just like crazy to be on the same team as those people were once. So I don't know. I love it. The team's amazing. What has been the favorite thing you've received to date? Ooh, I, I got a lot of stuff. Um, <laughs> I would maybe say the favorite thing. Hmm. What if the favorite thing hasn't come yet? Oh, are you talking about the yellow box? I might be talking about the yellow box. You mean the one that's in your screen? <gasps> Shit. <laughs> you know what's really funny is I have got my computer propped up on my yellow box. <laughs> that's a good box right there. Oh my God, isn't it great? <laughs> yeah. Can I, just, can I just say that personally, that might be my favorite box thus far of all time it's pretty amazing it's everything about it I love it and the the one after that like I haven't received it yet but what I've oh. seen huh. 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 it's like these boxes are speaking to my soul <laughs> I know and it's like I don't know how I don't know how Archer and Olive does it but it's like here's something awesome here's something awesome boom something awesome boom. and they never stop they don't stop. Don't stop. Won't stop. Can stop. You know it. Mm. Okay. So now talk to me a little bit about your fancy schmancy reels. You and Mark have been killing it with reels at the minute. Like you guys are real the stars. Reels with the real stars of Instagram. See what I did there? The real stars. Of the real stars. The real stars. instead of E E L. Real. Okay stars I don't Instagram. know I just I love making reels I think they're fun um I think it's a really great way to show your personality and like 
30 to 60 seconds. Oh my God, um, that's exactly what Mark said. Is it really? <laughs> it is. We're like the same person. It's fine. For sure. <laughs> I don't ask as many questions as him though. No. Um, wow. <laughs> Do those questions ever stop? But no, I love reels. I think that it's a lot of fun. It's quick production, easy turnaround. Like, I don't know. And if you, if you, if you hit the right thing, the right sound, you know, at the right time, you can have so many views. I have the, I have so many views on this stupid reel of my dog coming around to Coco Melon. And it's just like, I don't understand how that even got that many views but it, it's it's fine cute dog he is cute it was luigi oh, i love them so much i know they're all really cute i have to live vicariously through you i will hold them all i have many there's many <laughs> okay. we're really bad at fostering we've oh. had Oh, are you one of those people that gets the dog and then keeps the dog? Yep, that's me. Yeah. I got you, dear. I got you. It's hard to get rid of them. They're like children. I know. And then once they're here, it's like, well, you might as well stay. And now you're lonely. You need a friend. Yep. Um. <laughs> All right, so tell us a little bit more about you. Tell us a little bit about your background, like where you, what you actually do other than just spend time on the interwebs. Sure, yeah. So I'm uh, an assistant nurse manager for a um, larger healthcare system. Um, we're over five sites. So it's, it's a busy day. Um, every day is kind of like a different situation. I live in Akron, Ohio. I've lived in Ohio. Wait, hold my whole on. Life. Akron. Akron, Ohio. Akron. Akron. Where is that? Hold on. It's really that. close to Cleveland. Okay, so yeah. we're probably about 30 minutes from Cleveland, um, maybe like an hour and a half, I think, from like Columbus. So in like a little bit over from Youngstown. So you're like we're like in between all these other big cities, but we're 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 our own. We're Akron. I'm looking. I'm looking. Akron. Now Home of LeBron problem. James. Akron, Ohio. Oh, it says Akron, Ohio weather. That's not good. Don't look at that. It's a terrible weather. <laughs> What's the weather like? I couldn't get out of my house on Monday. I had to work from home. <laughs> oh, okay. So you buy like some water, like a lake. Yes, we get we get some of that lake that lake effect snow from lake erie oh you're like right up by the top section that goes into like Canadia. yes we're close to them oh yeah no like you've got that water and then it's canada yeah didn't know now i know i'm 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 close to canada i'd go there i'd be there it's fine oh my god you're like two minutes away you're like only this far away from toronto yeah, that, that far away takes a while. <laughs> I'm assuming so. <laughs> but I have done a lot of traveling. Um, my, my grandparents, uh, my grandmother was a school teacher and my grandfather retired young. So we would go in like an RV and we would go across country Fun. and come back. And then we went up through Canada once and we went to Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. So like, Oh, you know, my lot, friends like, from Nova Scotia. She would be so happy to hear that. It's gorgeous. Like that's one of my top 10 places to visit. You want to go in summer because it, it is, I mean, they have brutal winters, uh, but Nova Scotia is beautiful. It's, it, it's so green. It's so lush. There's, it's beautiful. Go, go to Nova Scotia. Yeah. When, when the borders. Yeah. I was about to say like <laughs> when COVID is not a thing anymore. So in 2080, maybe mm -hmm. 2080. Perfect. You know, yeah. I'll be, I'm there for a hundred years old. Second bullet journal. I have to show you this now. And this is when 2021 started and I had my review page about 2020. Oh my God, was it a dumpster fire? Y yeah. <laughs> Ew. It's fine. Shit. We're fine. Is it? Are we? <laughs> also an Archer and Olive, of course. Mm. 
I can't, I can't deny that I'm pretty excited still about that yellow box. Um, yeah. I didn't yeah. realize it was back there. Maybe I should. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're so naughty. All right. So you have never played if Mary kill. Now we can't say the if word. So let's go with fudge. You've never played fudge, Mary kill fudge. Mary kill is where you have three options one you would like to fudge one you would want to marry and one you would want to kill oh mm -hmm. it's getting dark okay super dark so we have got pens that we're going to go through we have got notebooks and we've got brush pens okay okay strap yourself in all right notebook fudge mary kill would you fudge mary kill the following three notebooks asher and olive notebook therapy loistrum well i would marry archer and olive of course because i've never used the other ones so what fudge and kill i don't even care what order Oh, I should nap. Hey, man, I know what I like. I found what I liked. I, I bought what I liked. I didn't go in. I didn't go any further. <laughs> you didn't cheat on the brand. All right, fair enough. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing, though, that you've got a number of brush pens. Yes. What Which yes. types of brush pens do you have? Do you have Tombos? Yes. Do you have Karen markers? Yes. And you've got Calliographs? Of course. Okay, Fudge, Mary Kill. Calliographs, Karen markers, and tomboys. I would marry. Ooh, I gotta stay true to my 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 love. I will marry calliographs. I will fudge tombos, and I will kill Karen. You would see now. I struggle. I would struggle with a fudge marry kill of that selection. I would actually really struggle. I, I feel like between the three, I would probably kill off Tombos because they fray. Really? Yeah, they fray a bit too much for but me. But they I'm have like, so many colors. You know what? You haven't actually had your other tequilas. Why have you not had your other tequila? I will do it now. See, it's too early in the day for me to be drinking tequilas. What time is it there? Actually, it's a reasonable time. It's 1 p.m. Oh, my God. We made it more in the fridge. Did you watch the live on Instagram the other day? The one where I did the Valentine's Day box? I watched it after because it was during my work day. So <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Right and early. It just gets in the way of everything. Like I want to be on the gram 24-7 and then I have to go to work. While you're watching this video, people, please like follow and subs is it still like follow and subscribe oh my god i'm so bad at this is this like follow and subscribe is it like subscribe please comment give us a thumbs up thumbs up because you know what we have what we have two of these to give away <gasps> oh my god are those from the sub box it was from the december sub box um and they are brand new so Happy to send those out to someone who would absolutely love them. I'm going to use one of. I'm going. I I already have a plan for mine. What are you going, going to use for? Tell me. I'm going to go to. A, I'm going to Alaska in August. But anyhow, wait a second. Time out. Time out. I have this side pad. Okay. I don't know what size it is. But oh yeah, you got the small puppy. Oh it man, that's perfect. It fits. It's like right a, in it's there. Like almost the exact same size of the notebook that fitted it in, in there. Stop it. You know, I have just realized, side note, totally unrelated, but the crescent moon washi. You mean, <laughs> where is it at? I know. She's how <laughs> I haven't been drinking at all. Oh my God, wrap it around your head. With mine, I'll wrap mine. I'll do whatever you say. 
Oh my God, I will wreck mine too. Look at us, because we're cool. Like, you know what? At least it doesn't stick so bad. Hold on. Whoa, time out. Oh, shit. Something happened it here. It, it doesn't even, we may have to tie it like a bow. Actually, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, what are you doing wrong? What are you, what are you doing wrong? Okay. Don't do it to the front, do it to the back. Oh no, I'm I'm coming up with my own shiznos, babe. See, see. Oh, you're doing like a bow. Mm, I, look, it didn't work mm. out as a bow, but it's for sure like a bow. Oh, you're you're hot, babe. <laughs> oh, I, oh, okay. I'm yes. first wife. Jericho would be so proud of us using oh washing different. <sighs> Wouldn't she just? I love her. I love her so much. I don't think I've ever loved another human as like I met her like for like a split second and I thought I want to be your best friend for life. I love everyone though on the team. I love and Jericho and I have played Animal Crossing together and she sends me presents and I love her so much. I have Animal Crossing. I just don't ever play. I know I haven't played for over a month. I've been so busy. Just saying, these are the journals I'm in currently. Okay, and this doesn't include my actual weekly journal. Okay. I got issues, and one of them is how bad I miss you. How many? Okay, no. wait. Hold on, a cotton picking second. How many? How many? And what are you using them for? Like, wait, what? Okay, craft journal. Okay, what are you with, craft journaling in there? Are you just like being crafty or having a list of instructions? Instructions. Okay. Okay. With like, with like things about stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm um, okay. Like okay, a little like cut here, fold here, paste here. Okay. Hmm. Craft journal. Okay. Okay. Mental wellness journal, which. I haven't used since we did the um, mental health, mental wellness prompts. Wellness. But I did the prompts. Oh my god, I've got that sticker book. Which one? Wait, go like two pages back. Oh my god, yes, that one. I've got this one. Oh my god, it's cute. Please. It's cute. So that was my mental wellness one. Sims journal. Oh, garden slither. That's hard to come by these days. With I did a happy little plume blob right there. That's pretty mm -hmm. fresh. And then I have all these happy little Sims things. And it has like it's for the legacy challenge. If you do Sims, there's like a whole like legacy challenge. I took most of this from Nerd Bunny. Um, she has like a whole like guide, and I just made my own because I didn't want to print it out and I wanted it in an art journal. Hey, what? is even happening oh so pretty though is that b5 yeah these those ones are b5s and then this one is oh this is the one i used to like oh my god how many times did i write archer and olive on this page i'm a psychopath okay. um <laughs> but this one i use for like when i'm like getting ready to like do like a, a new spread like I go through the colors I want to use so it's kind of like a is that how you know. spelled August without the year did I do that probably oh yeah right there August. August. <laughs> sorry August I can't open this anyway. one mm. this one can't be open do you want to know why it's your secret diary design team notes I got you, boo. Would have to lay down my life before I let somebody read this. Mm, I'm with you. And then my craftinated journal. Because it's obviously coffee. Yes. Tea, whatever and it, it goes through like all of my happy little like trackers Victory. for YouTube and Instagram and all that kind of good stuff. How cute are you? My little black book. Is it because it's black paper? Of pen pals. Why am I not a pen pal? Do you want to be pen pals? I would love to be a pen pal. Oh, we can be pen pals. So I actually did this for another blog. I don't know if it's been posted yet. 
but this is, it says Brian um, Del Toro. And that is that journaling guy, if you know him. Um, he's cool. Um, and we're pen pals. And I have a couple other pen pals. So he got pen pals in, pal in New Zealand so you can get the cool stamps. Because we've got pretty cute stamps. I will be a pen pal with somebody in New Zealand. Okay. But Mary F. Kill. Ma Fudge Mary Kill. Okay. Let's talk about pens. Fudge Mary Kill a pen. Would you fudge Mary Kill? Secura micro pens. Tombow Fudunosuke pens. Mm. Or let's go with the art line. You know, those kind of the same as the Sharpies. Art line fine liners. Hmm. Mary Microns. They're my go-to. That's what I literally do all of my regular writing in. Um, fudge. Uh, furunasuke. Furunasuke. Fud furunasuke. Fud furunasuke. I don't know if I'm saying it right, if I'm honest. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I'll I'm take not. It. I know I'm not. <laughs> And then I would kill the third option. I forget what was it. Art lines. Oh my god, they're so great. Art. They're great. For I don't know that I've ever like used those. Stuff. <laughs> Another thing that we never made. <laughs> oh, those are fun. Yeah, they highlighters with a ballpoint pen on the other end. Something we did not make. Um, Sounds like something you should revisit. No. These no. are the fine ones. Oh, Break it. Um, these are the art line ones. They're great because they are immediately waterproof. I've never used those. Really and I have lots of pens. Yeah. But this blue though. This and this green. This screen might actually look good with some of the things in that thing. Yeah. That's why I use this very sparingly. That's like me and my notepads in general. I'm very sparing with my notepads. Except for like the Neapolitan or the rainbow ones I'm whatever with, but otherwise I'm like, I can't use all of this unless I really need it. <laughs> Scandal. I did not get. A rainbow notepad. I am very disappointed in myself for not getting a rainbow notepad. I got a rainbow notebook, but didn't get the rainbow notepad. Stop. They are divine. Like I love the notebook. Didn't I? I'm sure. I'm sure. I might have ended up. That's the Amy one. Tangerine, yeah. Yeah, it is. The notepad <laughs> wasn't. I thought about it, but I don't know, like the cover of it wasn't my style. See, I've only got the notebook. Yeah. And I, I really wanted to get it, but when they came out, like, so I had been like messaging, this is right, one of the times I was super annoying. I was like messaging customer delight, like, hey, you guys ever gonna come back with that? Like, yeah, I want some rainbow paper. And when they came out with this, to me, this was more valuable than the notebook because I could use this in my spreads in any journal. I always get the B5s. Like, so when I get, when I buy um, notepads, I get B5s. And the reason is, is you get more paper. And you can cut paper down. You can't grow paper. I try. All right. Any other questions you have for me? What's your favorite drink of all time? All time. Zephyr apple crumble sucker. Of all time. Sounds good. Sounds good. So yummy. And it's so easy to drink. And it's so light as well. Like it's not super heavy. So it's just yummy and refreshing. And just, oh, and you could, and then in winter, they come out with a plum version that you can warm up on the stove and you have like mold cider. 
I love like mold wine and mold cider. Like that's one of my favorite things. It's so good in the winter time. I feel, you know, I feel like since joining this community, we have been blessed with the copious amount of friends that we have made that are legitimate friends as well. It's not just like, oh, you know, I know that if you came knocking at my door at 2 a.m. asking to see Quinn, I'd be like, come on in, babe. <laughs> Do you want him to bring you a cider? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I, I feel like it, they're legitimate friends that we've made. And we've been Absolutely. so lucky with the community that we've built around us because, yeah, I don't think there's many other communities that are, it's unique like this. Mm -mm. I would agree with that. I mean, I've done like in the past, I've been a part of some like kind of communities just randomly and none of them have been as long-standing or as like you know I know that there's people that I might not talk to for a while but if I message them they're gonna respond we're gonna have a conversation and it's really really nice to have that like in this community where you have those kind of friends that maybe you don't talk every day but when you do talk you can have an actual conversation and yeah. talk about some real things yeah. And I think, you know, I was talking to Mark because I didn't actually realize that he remembered vis visibly, vividly when we became friends. And I was like, I don't remember the day we became friends. Because when we started the Eggplant Club, it's not the real name of the club, just FYI, the Eggplant. I think I know the name. Do you? Am I in it? Yes. <laughs> anyway so he he said oh do you remember when we first met and I was like no I know and he's like you were crazy town um and <laughs> I was really intimidated by you and I was like why would you be intimidated by me I'm like the least intimidating person ever like I feel like I'm a little kooky sure but I'm so unintimidating oh <laughs> I'm like of all the people Mm. like I'm the person you come to when you have problems and you need a glass of wine and there is no judgment here you're telling me you're leaving your husband and the dogs or the six door, and you know like I'm there for it like you tell me there's going to be no judgment no judgment here so I'm like I'm so unintimidating I'm so confused so yeah he was just you know retelling the story of how we met and I was just like I don't actually believe that that's so long ago and you know there was the art of bujo which was fun I've, I just recently heard about that I didn't know that was a thing and then that became Archer and all of community yeah. I didn't know that so like I feel like I'm like new new not new but newer new to the community world. I'm not like I'm not like a baby to the community but like I didn't you're, start. You're not one of the OGs. Right. I'm not. I'm not. Absolutely. I started in 2020. And when I started, there was already so many people out there in the space doing cool shit that like, I didn't know. And like, somebody will tell me like, oh, this happened. I'm like, what? Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Please tell me more because oh, I wasn't. I remember I wasn't, everything. And I like when we when I was running out of Bujo, um, I just dropped my thing on the floor. When I was running out out of Bujo, one of the big things was around copyright advocacy, and when sure. people were stealing um, designs or and then not crediting the original artist, like that was my big bent was, mm -mm, don't you be doing that, memorize. Sure. But now can I do it? No, I can't do it at all because I don't I don't spend enough time looking at new spreads. And it's kind of exploded. So like, I think at that time, like even when I was getting into it, it was even easier to kind of keep track of things. But now it's to the point where it's hit so many people and it's in so many places that it's so hard to keep track. Like it's everywhere. Sometimes I, I wonder and worry, like, am I doing something that's already been done? Because it's, it's hard to keep track of what everyone has already done. Sure. And like, I know that like in my first spread, which I didn't show you, I did a lot of um, replications of other things that I had seen. And then when I moved into my Archer and all of that, when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna start doing me because that's you kind do. of like, I'm not doing. but like, even, even like things that I've done that are, are, are me, 
like I can look up and I can see so many similar things before and after. And it's not necessarily like copying, but people have similar ideas too. But if you're like literally stroke for stroke, taking down somebody else's thing and not saying, hey, I got this from the inspiration. Right. It's just, it's so, it's so crazy to me how people are just like taking things and just not even it's so crediting. Entitled. It's like, yeah, that's not how things work. Just because much, you whatever. think that it's okay. It's not. It's not. I'm going to show you. I did, I did a Amanda Rach Lee spread. One of my first spreads. Cause I was just getting into bullet journaling and I didn't know what I was doing. This is my crappy notebook, by the way, not an art journal. It does not, I do not endorse this zero stuff but i did the um the oh yes i know exactly which one cherry blossoms which she did and i took that and i thought it was really cute and i used it but even when i used it i tagged her even though she had no idea who i was which is fine but this was also from hers the love yourself first Oh, and I just, that one as well. Now this one I did. I thought it was super cute. This was the first spread that oh, I did. That yeah. I did too. And then that was I did some pandas, but that was one of the last ones I did in this notebook. And then this notebook is empty because I switched to the Archer and Olive. So <laughs> my acrylographs. Oh, that's cute. I was and like, then I was one of those whiskey girls like in university when I, I was still skinny and pretty. Um I was one of those whiskey girls that would walk around with the whiskey shots and time like, out. Oh, like you're not still time out. Oh no, now we're like chubba lubba lumpkins. Um so now we're all pretty. My eyes are just sad. I know I feel like I, I feel like I'm getting old. And I lift. Or like, so I tie my hair up real tight to keep my. So like it keeps everything like back. Yeah. So I still look moderately young, which I'm not anymore. I'm not either. That's okay.